Hello everyone, it is Haley and I am back with another video. This is my first ever, and I have been waiting so, trying so long to get one of these, a Thread Up Jewelry Rescue Box. This is the DIY Jewelry Rescue Box. It's five pounds and I will be selling items straight from the box today, as well as we will go through every single piece and some I will most likely be setting aside for our, um, weekly live auctions. My next live auction is tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, January 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, if you would like to purchase anything from this video or anything from me in the future, just email me your name, shipping address, and PayPal email. I will send you an itemized invoice for shipping and your items via PayPal. If you don't have a PayPal, I can send a PayPal invoice to just straight to your regular email and you can check out as a guest. Um, and what else? My email will be at the top of the pinned comments as well as the very top of the description. It's Haley, H-A-L-I-E, Haley's Jewelry and More at gmail.com. And it will also be right above the sold list. So every item, and make sure you check that um, if you could before emailing, um, it really does help me out. Um, if, the, if you see the item on the sold list, then it's already been sold. If it's not, it's not, I'm, I'm updating it minute by minute. Um, I, my printer finally gave out, had the same printer for years. And I was with the HP ink program. It was supposedly their ink was incompatible because I had the same color ink cartridge for five years. And so they said they were sending me another one, um, but to just take the color out and print or the color cartridge out and print with black and white until the new one came and just went out. It went kaput. I was done messing with it and I would have had to buy some new ink cartridges at the end of the month because I canceled my subscription with them. It wasn't worth it. I had to track them down every time I needed something. So anyway, and it snowed here. So I did not get my printer until uh, this afternoon, Monday afternoon. So I will be printing labels tonight and I will get as much out as I can before the sale tomorrow. And yes, if you have any questions, please let me know. I do apologize. Um, it, was, it was so frustrating. I was on the phone with the HP people for two hours. No, that's a lie. I was on the live chat with a virtual assistant and um, for two hours. It was a nightmare. So let's get into this. I apologize for the delay. Um, if you would like to purchase anything, again, check the sold list and I will put a number by each item. Like I'll show a card. This will be number one. Um, and if you could just give the number, brief description and the price, uh, number one, uh, sterling ring with green stone, $5. When you email me, it really, really helps. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and so a lot of people like to know my dog did, I haven't opened any, like actually opened the bag or the tissue, but my dog was helping me a little with the unboxing. Um, a lot of people like to know what location this came from. And this was from Sw Swanee, Georgia, uh, warehouse manager thread up horizon drive, Swanee, Georgia. Um, so let us get into it. Uh, I will show you like the outside of the package and then I'm going to pause it and lower my camera and we will open it together. What do we have here? Okay. Looks like there's some treasures. Ooh. Look at that nice bar link. Ooh. Alrighty. I'm going to pause you and move the camera down. Okay, let's get into this. Also, oh, um, shipping is $5 for up to a pound within the U.S. Outside the U.S., um, I do calculated shipping. So just however much it's going to cost to ship, I will check in uh, pirate, pirate Ship and get back to you. So if you need info on that. So let's get started. I wanted to move this immediately because look that is a very nice oh, 
hollow glass piece that might be sterling and I didn't want that to get crushed. So I pulled that out first. Let me set this over here and I have my little cards. All right, I'm just gonna try and dump some of this out. All right, I don't usually do my videos this way, so it is new to me, but um, I know my very sweet and helpful friend, Kristen D does it this way and had to try it out. Just gotta try it out. Ooh, that's sterling. Okay, I would bitch up. Let's just grab a surprise. And here's our little cards. I do have acid and a stone next to me, but I, I think a lot of the sterling I will save for my sale. Um, craft items, I will offer a lot of them individually, but if they don't sell, I will put together some small lots. Um, so anyway, let us get started. Look at these. These are very, very nice. They look to be in really great condition. Oh yeah. Let me move my light on that. Oh, my clothes on. Aren't these beautiful? Lucite, gold tone, post. Um, I do offer anytime for free. If you're buying earrings from me that do not have backs, just let me know. I will put brand new rubber backs on them for you. So these gorgeous, gorgeous gold tone earrings number one. We will do these for $5. Number one, $5. Um, oh, lordy. Watchitude. Well, I am filming on my with my camera. So I'm sure these are a bunch of little collectible things. Each one has a lobster class, so they come off. And it's probably something just cool with all the kiddos, you know, uh, which if each of these sell individually, it's probably good for a reseller. So I can't research it, so I'm taking a guess and you benefit. Um, I will do the bracelet with all the charms um, number two, we will do this for $7. Number two is $7. Um, what else? I don't see... Oh, look at this. I think this just clicks together and it got pulled apart. Yeah, there we go. It's looking more like sky blue in the camera, but it is this swirly, um, almost like a mint color. Ooh, this is, and this is a nice one. This is branded. Oh my gosh, this is Kenneth Lane. Kenneth J. Lane. I would not have expected that. Okay. I'm very, very happy with that. Let me get you a link. All right, and this is 17 to 21 inches. Um, usually, I would keep this for... The live sale but you know what we will do get you guys in on the on the action for the people that are watching through the videos this is number three 17 to 20 inches um, it's like a pretty minty swirly lucite Kenneth Lane oops that came apart again so that would be a problem actually I'm gonna hold on to this because I'm gonna make sure that that's not going to continue to happen. You see? Okay, I'm going to hold on to this because I don't want to sell something that's going to come apart. So that will not be number three. My apologies for the fake out. Um, this is, I recognize this. This is, looks like J. Crew. Almost. Oh, this is a bobble bar one. J. Crew has this exact bracelet with the rhinestones and the faux tortoise shell lucite all it looks like all of the rhinestones are there but there and there's a senorita clasp but there is some major color loss going on um, on the clasp so for number three let's see that's better if i move it up closer for this will be number three and 
we will do this uh, because, oh, hold on. I do see, I do see one stone missing. All right, number three, we'll do this for $1. One dollar because there is one stone missing and there's some color loss on the clasp. All right, and what else can we grab? Um, look at this. I believe this is Alex and Annie. That's right. And this is one of their collectible pieces. This is their graduation, and I believe. This one, this one says 2015. Um, let's see, this will be number four. Alex and Annie, let me get you a measurement. These are expandable, but. All right, it is at seven inches and it will expand up to eight. This is the matte gold tone Alex and Annie graduation hat bracelet. Very, very pretty. Number four, we will do this for $5. $5. Um, what is this? Holy but Jesus. Okay. That says $128. Well, these do look like real pearls. That is something that I would like to test the metal on. Look at that. the stones and that man that's beautiful and these are real freshwater pearls i can tell yeah yes they are Ooh, so that's another beauty to set aside good find good find i am excited about that um here's another this one is j crew this one is j crew um this is an older one the very oldest and some of the newer ones have the lobster claw clasps um, let me, look for missing stones. I don't see missing stones, but there is color loss on a couple of, on the two jump rings right here. I don't know why just the jump rings, whoops, I don't know why just the jump rings, but there is some color loss on those. So because of that, um, all the stones do appear to be there. But because of the color loss on the jump rings, number five will be $4. $4 for number five. Um, what is this? Is this? This looks like it's part of a set, and this is so heavy. Ooh, this is Ralph Lauren. I see a pair of earrings. I don't think the other part of that set would be in here. So for this beautiful mixed metal, it looks like matte gold tone and silver tone. Heavy, heavy, heavy Ralph Lauren. It's marked right there. Bangle. This is so heavy. Um, this is sitting at not quite eight inches, about seven and three quarters. And this will be number six, number six, and we will do this for $5, $5. Um, oh, those look like they're part of a set. Wait on those. Ooh, look at this, copper and brass. Let me get a magnet. Ooh, that is either Hebrew or Arabic. I think it's Arabic. Very, very cool. Um, where is, let, I do have a magnet in here. Hold on. Oh yeah, totally non-magnetic. So this is real copper and brass. It is currently sitting at eight inches, but it can be an inch smaller, obviously, a little over an inch smaller, down to a seven. I wouldn't open it up more than to about eight and a half inches. Um, but beautiful copper and brass, uh, non, it is non-magnetic, so I do believe it's real copper and brass, not just uh, brass tone. And we will do this number seven. Uh, we will do this for um, seven dollars. Number seven for seven dollars. 
Um, I want to look at these earrings. These are beautiful. Let's see, are these magnetic? Yes. All right, these will be number eight. These are so nice. Very bougie. And the hooks are in great condition. Oftentimes they get bendy. These, these are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And they're not super heavy, but they're very well made. These are very, very nice. We will do number eight. Uh, we will do these for $7. Number eight for $7. And I see another pair. Now these are a little bendy. Let me see. Also really just some of the beads had kind of gotten wrapped around. Wasn't really bent. The uh, beading had just gotten moved. Well, these are fully non-magnetic, but I don't see any sterling marks because they would be vermeil, not sterling. Because these are gold tone, beautiful, beautiful, pale pastel mint. Um, these are gorgeous hook earrings, number 10. We will do these for, uh, we will do these for four dollars, number 10 four dollars and what else can we just grab out of here oh that looks like a earring set that down there oh here it is there's the match oh these are nice these a lot of these are glass yeah some of these beads are glass some are acrylic and let me i think this Hook is upside down. There we go. Look at these. These are beautiful. These amber colored ones are glass and uh, the rest are acrylic, I believe. They're not super heavy, but they've got a little bit of weight to them. Definitely very well made. These are um, about they will hang down about three and a half inches from your ears so a very good size and these will be number 11 and these are gorgeous uh, we will do these for five dollars number 11 five dollars oh I see the match let's see these are not magnetic Let me see. The backs are marked. So I am going to hold on to these and test these. And I will put these. Whoops, don't drop that glass. Um, I will, these will be part of our weekly live sale. And I will test them for sterling. These are really cool. This is uh, that hollow blown glass. These are beautiful. Beautiful. Whoops, I keep bumping the camera. What's going on? All right. Oh, this is lovely. This is silver tone. And it's like a matte silver tone. And again, there's a mix of glass and acrylic beads. Sorry, I'm trying to like flip one of the beads. One of them got twisted. Flip it around. This is nice. Actually, I think some of these are stone. Yeah. Very, very pretty. Look at this. Um, all of these are glass, and then the three danglers are acrylic. All of these are glass or stone. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, and it's got a super long... Um, extender. So this one will fit. Da -da -da. 17 to 21 inches. 17 to 21 inches. Um, this is the back. It is in beautiful condition. Um, this is very, very nice. Very well made. These are all metal discs. These are not plastic. This, this is very nice. Very happy with that. 
Um, this is number 12. And we will do this gorgeous necklace for $8. Number 12, $8. And then, let's see. Ooh, look at these. O.L. Fartington. These are beautiful. Oh, and $40. Well, these will be number 13. If anyone has these, it's like that perfect champagne. Gold little pearls to replace these with, or, you know what would be really cute? is if you took these two off the bottom and put them there and put even like a different color at the bottom, that would be pretty. Rachel Parcel, uh, number 13. We will do these $40 earrings for $3. Number 13, $3. Um, oh, this is an, a brand new Alex and Annie. Um, Dragonfly EWB. Dragonfly EWB. And this one is non-magnetic, but I don't reckon the wash doesn't look like, like you see how it has that vintage antiqued wash. It's not exactly like sterling. I mean, if it is, then you guys will get a deal. But okay, so we will do this Alex and Annie brand new with tag bracelet. And I do believe they are all about the same size. Yeah. Um, well, actually, this one's a little bit, little bit bigger. Sorry, my um, bracelet mandrel folds in sometimes. It got a crack in it, and if it, I mean, if it's folded in, then it's not accurately showing the size. So I have to, I have to make sure it's not okay. Anyway, yes, seven to eight inches on this one. This will be number fourteen the dragonfly bracelet and uh, we will do this for seven dollars seven dollars Alex and Annie dragonfly I love this I love it I love it love it um I don't know what that is or why that's there oh looky here you can wear it like tied together, but like I just assumed it was an over the head necklace that you wore like this. But it looks like, cause this is real leather and the leather has snapped on the other side. So if you would like this to just wear as an over the head necklace, uh, this looks like Lucite. I, well, Actually, I'm going to hold on to this and do a little more research because this might be Bakelite. No, it might, probably not Bakelite, but maybe celluloid. So I will hold on to this and do a little more research before our next sale. Um, that is gorgeous. Um, let's do this. Oh, you guys are going to be disappointed. I'm going to be holding on to something again. Lauren Hope. Lauren Hope, look at this. These are beautiful. Oh my gosh, the stones on this are gorgeous. Well, at least you won't have to wait long. Tomorrow is our live sale. This is seven inches, seven inches Lauren Hope. Um, I will do some research on this and bring it to the sale tomorrow. And if I don't get the research done, then I will sell it with no knowledge for super cheap. How about that deal for you? Gorgeous. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, this thing just fell off. It's a little girl's charm bracelet. Um, number 15, uh, we'll do this for a dollar. And I will, of course, include this little pug charm that fell off. Boba, good vibes. Okay. Vandala. Let's see. Ooh, these are pretty. 
Looks like they were part of a set. These are beautiful. Vintage Lucite Gold Tone, brand new. And they came with another pair. I don't think they even went on this card. But anyway, um, we will do these Gold Tone, brand new, pale blush pink Lucite earrings, number 16. Four dollars. Number 16, four dollars. Um, that could be part of a set, so we'll set that aside. Ooh. Ooh. That is embroidered. That is an embroidered piece. And looks like Poppy and I got a piece from them. Poppy and Fura or Fura. Um that is tangled up with another necklace. Let me pause. Okay. I am absolutely obsessed with this. Absolutely obsessed. And it's on a super long chain. Wow. I will bring this to the sale tomorrow. I really want to keep it, but I won't. Uh oh, I don't, our cards, they get out of order. I guess it doesn't really matter as long as you know what number goes with what item this necklace that it was tangled with there is a tiny bit of color loss on just the clasp um, this is a 16 inch and look it's like a rectangle rollo chain do you see there's a little bit whoops, of color loss just on the not that side but the other side of the clasp and it is this beautiful Gold tone, 16 inch necklace. This is number 17. So trendy, great layering piece. Uh, because there's some color loss, we'll do this for $2. Number 17, $2. And I've got to hurry because I want to do this in one take. I'm not going to be able to. Uh, this is paparazzi, but a lot of this stuff is the same thing they sell in stores. So if you're a lister, Really, you should just take it off the card and sell it. Um, I have not been listing yet. I do intend on selling on some other platforms. But anyway, this is, we know, paparazzi because it's on the card now. <laughs> 18 and we will do the number 18. We will do this for $4. This has really good stretch. Very nice bracelet. Doesn't look like paparazzi, that's for sure. Um, ooh. Look at this earring. Ooh, we got a match, girly. And another beautiful one with it. And those look like Stoyler. Oh, oh, fancy. Um, this necklace is very, very cool. Ooh, these are like stone, like clay stone. Oh, man, there's some schmutz on the yellow one. I don't have any cleaner at hand. I have some in the car, actually. Let me see. Mm. I think I can get that off with my t-shirt. Yep, I'll get the um, Simple Shine out of the car, but it just needs to be wiped off. But these are like a ceramic stone, and obviously I will untangle just the extender is tangled up. This is super long. Um, other than the tangle, it doesn't appear to have any color, like there's no color loss or anything. And this is 14 inch drop, so 28 inches wearable, plus probably two or three inch extender. Again, I will wipe um, off any anything else, any of the, just looks like it was in the bottom of someone's purse. Um, but if it doesn't come off, I will let the buyer know, obviously, if anyone claims this and it doesn't come off. This is very cool. This is actually a very good quality chain as well. Look at all those. All right, number 19, we will do this for $7. It's a really nice necklace and really unique. I love the, the stone. I was eyeing this and I think, yeah, it's, it's a plated one. It is non-magnetic, but these are supposed to look like the, um, sterling spinner rings which I have sterling versions of this in multiple sizes with you know the same hammered metal sterling 
and uh, with smaller spinner rings that go around it. But this is beautiful, beautiful plated piece, and it is in immaculate condition. This is a size 10, you guys. Well, no. No, I call that a nine and a half. Nine and a half. This is a size nine and a half. And it's in perfect condition. Hold on as I say that. Is that glass? Oh, of course there would be a little chip in the stone. Which that's odd. That's never what goes. Because look, all the finish is nice. I just thought that was the pattern on the stone, but there is that little crack. Well, that stinks. Um, size nine and a half ring um, plated with it's a little tiny crack in the faux stone there. Uh, this will be number 20 and we will do this for $3 because it has that little flaw, $3. Um, what else? Oh, this is cute. Um, this is a choker, very small, Ooh, but this is good quality. It has the antique gold tone findings and this cute little, I don't know what you'd call it, like spike. This is 14 to 17 inches, 14 to 17 inches. And it does actually look like this is real leather. It does. 14 to 17 inches. The findings are very nice. Um, number 21, um, I will do this for $2. Number 21, $2. I'm trying to move earrings out of the way. Oh, ooh, look at that. Uh-oh, I see a string. It's from this. It is from this. That is like sterling. Cool. So it looks like one strand totally came off of this. So you just need to, or and I'll do it, um, cut the string close to the top. Whoops, cut the string close to the top. All the beads are already gone. So that one strand did come off. Um, oh, this is by Zad. It's a nice brand in the mall. Um, there's, mm, I can't tell if that's where or if that's the color it always was. Let me get you a link with and without the extender. These are DIY boxes, so it's no surprise when stuff has issues. Um, this is 32 to 35 inches. And again, I will cut that string off for you. 32 to 35 inches. This is, look at the colors in this. This is beautiful. These are glass seed beads and these are wood. Um, number 22, we will do this for $7, $7. Just the beads alone are worth that. It's beautiful. Um, let's do another honker. I saw this and what does this say? $35. Well, I wouldn't charge that much. Um, this is like a knockoff version of the Swarovski line. They have a line where it's these tubes and they are full of individual crystals in these like little netting. But I can't tell if that's the lighting or if there is color loss, maybe. I can't tell. It could be just the lighting or it may have some very minor color loss. Um, and I do believe this is not a real Swarovski. I do believe this is probably a knockoff or one to made made to look like it. This is 21 to 24 inches, depending on where you wear it. 21 to 24 inches. Each one of these are filled with little, little stones all through them. This is really pretty. This is very, very, very pretty. Um, and this will be number 23. Um, I will do this I will do this for $5, number 23, $5. And let's grab this fell off of it. Ooh, ooh. I love this. I think I'm gonna have to look this up. Look at this. 
I have seen, I have seen these. I know this is a brand. I don't know what it is. Look, it's like a carabiner. It opens up right here. And these are all Pave set. So I will research this and I will bring it to the sale tomorrow, Tuesday, the 16th. This is really cool. I don't think it's sterling. I think it's probably fashion. Well, that ain't magnetic. So it also could be stainless steel. This is really cool. I'm very excited about that. I, I don't usually get a lot of modern brands. Um, I don't know, and I don't know a ton about them. Um, if you are like me, um, I know, well, I, I don't want to bug her extra, but I, uh, I know Kristen knows a whole lot about more about the modern and designer brands. Oh, and especially bags. If you guys are at any time you purchase a bag, please check Kristen's channel. Every Friday she does a purse sale video. Um, very, 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 very fair prices. You guys know when I lost everything in the storm, I repur I'm not going to replace everything I own because you can't, A. And B, I don't mind the whole, you know, having a few things that I really love. Um, and now... All my purses are from her and all but one pair of my shoes. I have seven pairs of shoes now, which I love. And I have about 10 purses actually. And maybe eight, uh, because I also bought some for gifts for my family at Christmas. Um, always check out uh, every Friday, I believe at four Eastern, I believe is when it, they're posted, but every Friday. Purse sale vid. And of course she does je jewelry beautiful jewelry and she also often has shoes um other other accessories on top of that sometimes clothing even once in a while but that is Kristen d Kristen d another chance resale look what i found there was two of these and i believe i asked six dollars I believe, I believe if, um, so if you want both, I will do them for 10 or you can just have one of them if you want. I see some malachite peeking out. All right. I need to quit fiddling. We need to get to selling lady. Get, get your butt in grr, grr. Okay. Oh, there's the other one. I am very happy to see that a lot of the um, earring matches are in these. That's surprising. So, okay, we got it. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, all right, let's do this beaded necklace. This one does not appear to be missing any um, strands. Let me get you the length. These are all glass. There's like a navy blue, a gray, and sort of a gold. It is 32 to 36 inches, and um, there is, well, again, I can't tell if that's just the lighting, 32 to 36 inches, but I can't tell if these are just supposed to be copper because they all match. Like, were they another color originally? I don't know. 32 to 36 inches, depending on the length. Um, that you put it on the clasp. This will be number 24. This is beautiful. Uh, we will do this for $8. Number 24, $8. Um, do I have another one of these? I don't think so. Okay. So this will be number 25. This is, um, I think this is actually abalone. I know this is mother of pearl or shell, but I think this is abalone. And you guys know, um, they... I believe they've stopped harvesting abalone in certain places or it's kind of going extinct so they've slowed down on allowing the harvesting this is sitting at six and a quarter inches but it is obviously very very stretchy um so we will do this number 25 all real shell uh number 25 for five dollars number 25 five dollars um i'm setting all of these stretchy bracelets aside 
Um, this is a ring. That's beautiful. These are glass seed beads, and I bet this was handmade. Gold glass seed beads. This is a size, ooh, it can go from about a nine and three quarters down to an 11. Nine and three quarters to an 11. This is number 26, and um, we will do this for $5. Number 26, $5. And I untangled this and set this down. This, you guys, that's Silpata. Is this, I assume this is sterling. It's usually marked on the clasp. Yes. Um, I, of course, will double test this, but I'm going to assume because it is Silpata that it is sterling. It's on a very nice, whoops, long box chain. Look at this, it's hinged. Needs a polishing, but this is beautiful. And you know what, I'll offer this in the sale. In like, or I mean now in the video, we won't wait to the sale. So if this is an expensive retired piece, good for you. This is a 13 inch drop, which makes it 26 inches wearable. Um, Silpata Sterling Necklace, number 27. Uh, we'll do that for $30. Number 27, $30. Um, I also saw this. This is really cool. I really like this. Look at that. Ooh, that's actually like braided like wicker. You guys know I'm a sucker for that. And they've put it on felt so it's sturdy. This is nice. This is nice. Matte gold tone. Oh, I do think there is at the clasp a little bit of color loss that stinks, but um, the rest of it, no one's going to see that the back of your neck anyway. Um, this is 14 inches drop, so 28 inches with a 2 inch extender, 28 to 30 inches. Number 28, because there is some minor color loss at the clasp. Um, we will do this for $7. Number 28, $7. Um, ew, ew. Are they in this bag because there's stones missing? I don't want to dump out any. Yes. Ooh, and I can tell these were something special. Yes, they were. These were Kendra Scott. All right, that stinks. Well, I'm gonna put all the pieces back in here and make sure I get every single one. I don't think these are missing. Maybe someone can put this back together if they want. Um, Kendra Scott Snowball Snowflake Earrings, contact me if you're interested. Just give me the timestamp. Um, these are gorgeous. Are they branded? These are, oh my gosh, these are Kenneth J. Lane. And you know what? I'm going to hold on to these for the sale. So, better tune in tomorrow. And you guys, I got in a whole nother, nother sterling order. We haven't finished the others. So, I am going to be not buying jewelry for a little while because we have plenty of inventory. Before it was hard, you know, I was having trouble just getting money together to buy it. Um, number 29, these are a pale pink lucite hoops. These are absolutely adorable. Number 29, $4. I'm obsessed with these. Number 29. Four dollars. Um, oh, ow. I think these are sterling. What about these? These are pretty. Ooh, they look like J. Crew. They are. They are J. Crew, but they have. Is that actually wear or just needs to be wiped down? I don't know. They may have some wear in the back because of that 
we will discount them. They may just need to be wiped down. So um, we will sell them as is for $4. Number 30, $4, J. Crew. Um, I keep seeing this disconnected. Oh, these are earrings. These are actually really cool. I used to have a pair with these same colors and this same style, except at the top, like the bigger piece was at the top and it was a cameo, but it had these creams and golds and sequins. And I got them at a boutique in Edmond from where I'm from. And I love them. In fact, I think I still have them. Um, these are number 31. You can tell these are probably branded, very well made. Very, very interesting. Little stone missing. They're old. Got a little wear because of that. Mm, there's some schmutz on that. All right, we'll leave it. These will be a dollar as is. Number 31, one dollar. What is this? Ooh, this is a set. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Okay. Look at this. This is very nice. Very nice. All the stones are there, and it's got a little pair of earrings to go with it. Hey, man, for paparazzi, this is a nice set. Let me get you a length on it. Um, there's a two-inch extender, and it's 26 inches as is. This is very nice. This is very, very, very nice. Very good quality. Like, this is heavy. Okay, I'm, I'm very impressed with that, actually. Um, even though it's paparazzi, so this is number 32. We'll do it for $5. $5, number 32. That's a beautiful quality piece. Hey, not a problem. Ooh, this looks like J. Crew. Maybe not. This is cool. This coral lucite. Of course, there's a little crack in the front. Darn it, let me get you the length. And of course, we will do this as is. Looks like the findings of J. Crew or um, Chico's. This looks like Chico's findings. 20 to 23 inches. And one of them, as you can see, has a little crack. 20 to 23 inches. This is number 33. And... Um, I will do this for $2 since it has that little flaw. $2. Ooh. I think this is one that needs a little research. It does have some wear to it. Should I just sell it as is without doing research? Take a risk and you guys get a deal? This is like a t-shirt material, literally, but doesn't smell like anything, not even perfume. I don't think anyone ever wore this. Well, they had to have because it looks like the very top, They, you know what they did? They probably washed it because before you send anything into thread up, you have to wash everything. So um, we will do this as is. It has some a little bit of um, minor color loss, but this is really cool really cool. Number 34. Um, I'll do this for $5 because it has that little bit of wear on it. $5. Um, what else? I think that's just a piece. This is J. Crew. Ooh, and there's different shapes of these Lucite links. Oh, I've only got six more minutes of memory left. Um, this is a 17 inch drop, so 34 inches wearable. 34 inches wearable. Um, Lucite J. Crew Senorita Clasp. I love the links on this. I love it. I love it. Number 35, um, we'll do this for $12. Number 35, $12. Um, what else? Oh, these are, ooh, these are branded. And they have matching backs too, like branded backs. Oh, these are bobble bar. Okay, well, um, they need to be rethreaded. Obviously, you've got to tighten the thread on that and glue it down. Oh, on this one, 
you see? So because of that, these are 36, these will be $1. Number 36, $1 with um, where? Oh, 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 oh my God. Givenchy, baby. <laughs> no way. I'm bringing these tomorrow. Yep, these are Givenchy. I'm so excited. These old little pads on there falling apart are so old because these are vintage Givenchy and they're so cool and I love them. Obsessed. I, I saw um, like the little pattern. I was like, oh, those are cool. They're vintage knockoff Givenchy. No, no. They are real. Givenchy. Givenchy. Ooh, these are cool. Ooh, these are nice. Look how cool. The these are funky. You know, I like stuff like this. A little different. Just, you know. It's got to have some different. It's a little, you know, it's a little shimmy shake it up. Okay, quit fiddling. These are non-magnetic. I will bring them tomorrow. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, it looks like these are a match, but all the little ringies fell off of this one, so I'm going to have to find them or put half and half, like half on each of them. Um, ooh, ooh, I can already see this. This is a handmade piece, and I will bet money 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 these are real garnets um probably brass and sterling um let me see if it's yep it's all non-magnetic this is definitely a handmade piece that will go over your head and i will bring this to the sale tomorrow this is super long and yeah obsessed with it fully non-magnetic so those are real brass pieces for sure go just Oh, this is brand new. These are nice, and these are very popular. I'll put it back in the package for you if you want to. Um, this is faux leather with the gold tone. These are magnetic. Very nice. Um, size is 7 inches. This is number 37. Um Obviously, it's brand new, and uh, we will do this for $2, number 37, $2. And, senorita, I've waited for you. Um, J. Crew, that's why, baby. This is a small Z. This is on the bracelet mandrel, not laid out flat in the length, on the bracelet mandrel, how it's going to fit is barely over six so maybe six and a quarter not quite um to at least their stuff usually holds up but i, I want to look this is amazing this is gorgeous in beautiful condition this is very heavy number 38 um we're gonna do this for 15 dollars 15 dollars number 38 um, oh, I like this. Oh, I like it. What is this? This is J. Crew as well. I guess it's supposed to go over your head because there's no clasp. Um, silver tone. Oh, we've only got half a minute left. Um, this is 17 inch drop, 34 inches. Um, this 34 inches total. Uh, there's like facets on these. This is cool, number 39. Um, we will do this for $8, number 39. All right, the rest of this, I will stop where I am and film, upload this and film another one.